Hi guys and welcome to part 9 of the Wally -E tutorial. So our model is really coming along now. Uh, if you've been following along with this tutorial series, you should have something that looks like this. If not, skip back to the previous tutorials, follow along from the beginning, or you can download the project file from tutorial 8 and it will give you a model something like this. So at the end of the previous tutorial, we'd done some of the details here at the back and I um, told you to go ahead and do some of the other details that are around the face area here yourself. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'll add those in later. What I want to do is crack on with the tutorial on how to extrude along a path. I have a standalone tutorial on this, but I'm going to also show you how to do it here. So we're going to create this um, hose basically connecting here and here. So in the previous tutorial, we made these hose outlets and connectors and that's what we want to make. So we're going to start this off in object mode by creating a um, path. Now we have that path. Um, I'm going to rotate it in the z-axis 90 degrees. I'm going to bring it to approximately the right place. So we're going to start off with the, the starting position on the right here. Um, Select our path again. Okay, so we'll go to our back view. I'm going to position the center of the path over the center of our first connector there. So approximately here. Doesn't have to be exactly centered, but close enough. Okay. And uh, now we've done that, I'm going to come over into edit mode. What we're going to want to do is manipulate the end of our path to be at that other connector there. So first of all, I'm going to come into my right view. I'm going to position this in line. the bottom connector there. Okay, now I'll go to the back view. And I want to move this to the side there. Okay, so that now joins up. Now we'll come back to my right view. Now we're going to want to manipulate these handles so we get the the curve of the cable that we desire. So it's going to be something like this. So if we now take a look at that in our 3D view, you can see that we have one end of our path now at the start over here and the other end at our other connector down there. And in 3D space, we've made this curve. Now, next thing we want to do is uh, come back into object mode and we're going to create now a circle which will be extruded along that path. So we'll create the circle here. I'm going to scale that down. Then we're going to, over here, name this circle the um, profile. And I'm going to name this spline here the extrusion path. I'll call this actually the extrusion profile. Okay, so if we select the extrusion path and then down here you want to go to the tab for editing this path here and in the bevel object you're going to want to select the circle. I can do this. Well, Edit mode, the bevel object, should be our circle that we just created. Ah, it needs to be a NURB circle, sorry about that. Um, extrusion profile, let's just delete this. We create a NURB circle, which we will call the extrusion profile. Scale it down. 
select their extrusion path and extrusion profile from the list. Now you can see there we have our pipe. It's a little bit bulky, so we can select our profile and we can scale this to get it to the desired thickness. So that maybe is still a little bit too thick, I'm not sure. Maybe not, I think that's okay actually. I just scale a little bit. Okay, now we're done with that. We can go back to our path and in edit mode we can begin to manipulate it again to get everything lined up and looking like it's actually going into that connector there. We want to try and get it centered. Okay, and then down here. Now, I want to drag this out a little bit so that the pipe comes in on a more straight angle like so I'll go to my rear view I'll position that over the middle of the connector okay Come back out into object mode. We'll take a look at that. It's looking good. Edit mode. We'll just drag that in a little bit. Okay, once we're happy with all of that. Jump back out of edit mode. Then we can join this to our head body there. So I'm going to select this and this, and we'll go object and join. Now we have to convert it to a mesh first, sorry. It's um, still the spline object. Might just want to move that in a little bit at the top there. Okay. Object mode and um, Alt and C to convert to mesh. Now I've done that, we can select two objects. Let's just check that did go into mesh, yes. Select the two objects and join. Now you can see it's mirrored on the other side. So there's our electronic cables or hydraulic connectors, whatever they are, are now mirrored onto the other side. So the rear of the Wally head is starting to look quite nice and detailed now. So that basically is how we extrude a, um, a shape along a path to create a pipe or a, a connector or cable or whatever it is that this is supposed to be. Now I'm just going to do some tidying up over here um, to name things correctly. So. The circle that we just used for the extrusion, we actually um, no longer need the extrusion profile. Uh, that can be removed because um, now we've converted it into a mesh, it's no longer using this extrusion profile as a reference, so that can be deleted. Um, now then, the Bezier circle is actually the head, so I'm going to rename this to the head. 
there's our body area. This cube here is the upper neck. The cylinder we have here is the lower neck. This cylinder is the neck pivot. And this cylinder here is neck pivot two. As there's two of them. And then we have the Ah, these two neck pivots here actually can be joined together into one object. So we'll join these together. That's our neck pivot. And down here, we have our lower neck which we can join onto the body. Um, so this piece and this piece will join together. And this piece and this piece will join together. Okay, so now we have tidied up our objects a little bit and now they're easier to identify here. So we have the, the body we have the head, we have the lower neck area, we have the neck pivot in the middle, and the upper neck area as well. Okay, so that concludes this part of the tutorial. It's just a short one, um, extruding along a path. I'm going to actually now add in the other details that um, I advise you to put in yourself at the end of the previous tutorial. So what I'm going to do for that is just uh, go into time-lapse mode, as you can see me add in those other details that are around the eye sockets and the rear of the head area here before we can move on to tutorial 10 where we will do the rear of the body before we start on the arms. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.